You know when you're just in the zone and there's nothing they can do, they just can't touch you, you're going to destroy them. Well, this is the kind of kind of what happened in this game. But anyway, hey guys, this is Dombey Blue, going to bring you a World at War Moab with the trench gun on dome um, and a nice death right at the gate. But basically, I'm calling it a Moab because I've got 25 kill streak. The Moab, you know, if you're going to read in between the lines, the Moab's with your gun and my dog's got a lot of kills and... Uh, and you could say it weren't a trench gun Moab because I run out of shots and I pick up an MP40. I mean, you could be a bitch, or you could say, well done, Aim, for getting a trench gun, quote unquote, Moab. So, uh, anyway, been playing a, a little bit of World at War over the past uh, two days. And uh, it is fun shit as I, <laughs> as I completely fail and then someone else gets the kill. That's, that's good. So. About halfway through this game, I I just cannot get touched, and it is awesome. Uh, just the trench gun's pretty bad. If you want to actually legitimately go shotgunning, you should be using. Oh, do you see that? Do you see his legs just blow. You don't see that in mono. No, you blow that. You blow motherfuckers' legs off in this game. It's epic. Get your artillery. Your artillery gets you dogs. You wait. You call in the next dogs. You you just get that UAV. Your artillery dogs. Artillery dogs. You're pounding them. If you get that first set of dogs you set for the rest of the game, it's awesome. Um, and I say, what other game can you blow people's legs off? Here we go, jump around the corner, okay. get you, get them puppies, call them in, let's go. I personally think that the World at War dogs are actually, I think they're stronger than the Black Ops dogs, because the Black Ops dogs, I'm not sure how much health they have, but I don't think it's that much. But I know the World at War dogs have 200 health, uh, even though they take two hits. And the Black Ops dogs take one. If I could call in um, some Black Ops dogs or World War dogs, I'll take it. Oh! Get the fuck out! Oh, just going ham on these kids. Got one shot left. And um, it's just it's just a really fun game. Mainly I've been sniping. That's kind of like, if you follow me on Facebook, link will be in the description. You should definitely go on my, uh, follow my Facebook. Uh, I write some stuff on there occasionally. It's, it's kind of like... I'm trying to get uh, a few followers on there. I think I've got like 35 or something. It'd be nice if I can get up to 50. A nice little number. It's not quite as embarrassing. But <laughs> so you go pick up the MP4 because I run out of trench gun. I make, but. So basically the big project I've been uh, kind of mentioning on my Facebook. Which you should have like already clicked the link. Gone and press likey, likey, likey. Come back to the video. Like I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to go do that now. So like, thank you guys for going and liking my Facebook page. If you go in and like my Facebook page, if you actually give this video a like, that also help as well. But uh, yeah, but the big project that I'm kind of been going for is a, a big codtage. Um, it involves all the Call of Duty, maybe not Modern Warfare 3. I don't really like Modern Warfare 3, but World at War was the game I decided to play first because it was the first Call of Duty uh, that that I played. So how old is Modern War now? Three years. Three, I want to say three. I'm gonna go with three if it's wrong. Fuck you. So, um, oh, just toy kill streak. So, yeah, I've, three years ago, I got PS3, started playing some World at War, and I was rubbish. But it was, it was always the most fun. And they do say that your favorite COD is normally your first one, and uh, that's why most people like COD 4 the most. And that's there are people if you play your, if your first game is Modern Warfare 2, you think Modern Warfare 2 is epic just because it's a new concept. And every time a new game comes out, you're like, I've done this before. And you always remember the first time you played this and you, you shot real people. And that, and that is the the beauty of it. And that's why the uh, first cut you play is your favourite. And in which case, this is World of War. Which is possibly the... Argu well, it's arguably the most balanced by one gun. The gun I've picked up right now. Uh, the MP4, which everyone knows is a two-shot stomp power or juggernaut, but stomp power makes it a one-shot headshot. Insane, insane stat. 64 shots on a clip, just not too bad rate of fire. The recoil is not too jumpy. It was ridiculous, but if, if the MP4 went in the game, this would be just as balanced as Black Ops. Uh, possibly even better. They had five, uh, no, four bolt-action snipers and one semi-automatic sniper and the bolt action snipers were, were good because they uh, they then they because they didn't feel oh there's a 25 kill streak um and i died but uh they didn't actually feel the same 
where they had different rate of fires, different damages. Um, the Moss and the Garn and the PTRS, PTRS is the one that's not um, bow, bow action, where it could kill a Jug in one shot if you get him in the chest, whereas like a Springfield or an Arasaka will probably get the uh, the old Juggernaut hit marker. But I don't mind the Juggernauts, like if I'm sniping and they're using Juggernaut, then I'll just switch up to a different gun, it don't really bother me. Um, I'm actually really bad at sniping. I kind of, the way I do it, if you actually saw my little World of Wartage, the way I kind of do it is kind of set up and pick people off. I can't run in none of this optic phase Darth shit. I can't do that, so. You can kind of do that with other guns, like the shotgun. That's, that's why I chose the shotgun for Dome. You can run around, get in their face. Oh, get, oh! See his legs! Get the fuck out! And you too. Oh, give me them dogs. Just, this feels so good. Blurn his legs up. And I, I knifed that guy. Like, okay. I knifed that guy. If you do actually want to go play World of War, which you definitely should. Um, I think you should do it on the PS3. Oh, triple, triple. Ah, ah, it's painful to watch it. Painful. Could have, well, could have been. Could have been. But um, definitely recommend playing it on the PS3. Just because it's not hacked as bad. I saw... I played several games uh, yesterday, several games today, and I saw one person floating, running through the middle of the air, just raping everyone on the other team. He was on my team, so I didn't mind too much. But apart from that, there's nothing, no god mode, no unlimited dogs, none of the stuff that seemed to be uh, haunting Xbox a few months ago. So maybe Xbox is fixed now, I'm not sure. But uh, if you want to play what I definitely suggest going on PS3 and stick into TDM and Domination, because all the other game modes have like four playlists, and... Uh, <laughs> With four playlists, there isn't many, too many people to choose from, so the connection does lack a little bit. Uh, see, we're on the right host here. Host on four by everyone else on three bar, so you can kind of have fun. But there are a lot of two bar lobbies, which uh, you can just back up anyway. Oh, get him. And uh, no, no, no ghost bitches either. Like, just no one wants to give up their, their stomp pad, shoot you in the back. That radar, you get that three kill streak, you call it in, boom. <laughs> I got a lot of assists, end up going 45 to 6.